Hello, my name is Catherine and I work for the Fort Worth Public Library and today we're going to be making recycled robot crafts. The materials that we'll need are an empty box, construction paper or scrap paper, cups, glue, tape, perhaps empty toilet paper rolls, markers, crayons, and scissors. The end product will look like this. So hopefully we'll have covered our box in some sort of paper. This will help the other items secure better. Uh, we will need glue, and we can take cups if that's what we're using, or even tape. If you don't have cups, toilet paper rolls will also make a good substitute. Uh, we can also use other bits of scrap paper um, to make uh, hands or feet, uh, also a face. Uh, I used a marker to make the nose on the final example. All right, so I'm going to take a cup and place it on top of the box, and I'm going to add glue around the edges. And it doesn't have to be perfect, the glue will dry clear. There we go. I'm gonna press that down for a few seconds. And the next thing that I'm going to do is take a piece of paper. And this one I will just cut in half on the diagonal. And we'll end up with something like squares. And then I'm going to use tape. Sometimes tape will work a little bit better. going to fold it. I'm going to put it on the outside and I'm just going to adhere that to it. There we go. Now because these cups are very lightweight I think I'm just going to use tape to attach them to the box as well. So I'll we'll just do that. right onto the box, just press it, and it's fine. I am going to take another slice of scrap paper. I'm gonna cut this one. And my robot is going to have square eyes instead of round eyes. And for this, I'm just going to use the glue stick. But if you just want to continue to use tape, you could definitely do that. And one for the other side. There we go. And I'm going to give my robot a different color mouth today. I'm going to use black. I'm just going to cut that in half. If you don't have scissors, um, just tearing the paper you have will work just fine as well. Go ahead and take a marker and then add some dots in his eyes. And if you like, you could also use cups to give your robot legs. And I am also going to use tape for this part. them pretty evenly. I think that'll work. There you have it, our recycled robot. Thanks so much for building with me today. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.